great work, man. I love it. That's Dog Republic kicking ass. They do pack walks. If you guys ever need a pack walk for your dog, some extra activity, definitely check them out. They're incredible. They walk like five, 10, sometimes 15 dogs at once. You can't even help yourself. Oh, I know. You don't know what to do. Do you love me? Do you love mom? What are you going to do? This dog is so cute. I love Buddy. He's such a great golden retriever. Apparently, he's very reactive when around the owners. He's actually bitten a few people, and he gets very protective. Uh, I haven't had that experience with him. He's been nothing but a lover, but, uh, you know... Dogs act differently around different people. Hey, hey, hey. And you see, just goes from grass to grass. So it's not a protest, it's just, this is what your dog loves to do. I have to scratch him. I can't help it. And that's how fast a dog can manipulate us. I know. We go to the how park to walk. How do you say no to this? That's the problem everyone in America faces. How do you you say see no this, to this dog, look at this. How do you say no to this? He's got his little baby seal arms. I don't know if I can say no to this. Mama does your body. Mama does your body. Kiss it. <laughs> Love you. All right, buddy. Come on. Okay. Let's Freak. go. Freak. Let's go. I'm not doing it anymore. Let's go. But look, he's like, if I stay here, I will get positive affection. I know. I totally oh. reinforce it. Come. Whatever. So I'm just know that you. he'll do it on I command. Know. You know? And Every I'm time you come, he's good. I can't help it. Oh, it's, believe me, I got the same problem. He's super cute. Buddy, listen, oh, you are the laziest. Like, come, come on. Come on. Buddy, come. Place. Good. Oh, that's a good boy. You are so handsome. You happy about yourself? I'm so handsome. Oh, buddy. Come. There you go. I like He's my like, mom. I don't know who do I come to. And then we'll just walk around again. And ultimately, the best part about coming here is you've got tons of stuff to place the dog on. And you also have enough view where you can see what's coming. Can I see what you place on here? What do you say, place? Yeah, come. Oh, and you're in the direct line. Yep. Come. So come, place. Place. He jumps on these without me saying place. Like typically in the morning as I walk past the benches and stuff, he'll just hop on and go, we're cool, we're here, you co-play, I'm going to babysit. You He's... are the cutest dog I have ever seen in my entire life. Buddy. Break. Button, button, button. Good. Press it again. Look at these ants. Wow. Okay, break. Get out of here. It's, it's craziness. Yeah, it's Irvine. It's built on an ant. Is it? Yeah. So there are certain dogs in the neighborhood. 
that he does not like. I know that he doesn't like. There, that's, that, that, the first one is my neighbor, which you probably saw. The second one is that one. And the third one is a, gold, is a German Shepherd. Okay. So when I see those dogs, I want to make sure that they're ridiculous. Well, he's smart enough to jump on place. But I'm telling you, we were rolling around that one morning. It was scary. They'll only be in between his toes, and he'll start moving around funny. Every five minutes. Because what do you think your dog gets the most affection for? Being good or for doing this? Well, I think that's being good. You think this is being good, and it is a level of good, but all he's doing is rolling on his back yeah. and going, come love me. Oh, if I do this, you'll come over to me. No, it's just this black, uh, it's like a booger almost. He's all right. But he knows that if I do this move, which is the same move as doing a down, a sit, a come, he's sure. got his own command. And if he does this, guarantee you're gonna come over. It's almost like a crocodile that lays still and pretends to be dead, and then somebody comes over and it pounces. This dog is literally just waiting. And he goes, if I do this, hold on, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, ah, somebody's gonna give me love, I do it. So he, he's trained right now to do this move. He goes, this is the love move. If I do this, I am guaranteed some love. So that's his go-to. This way the dog's under control. You've got distractions coming past. And the dog's just off duty in a state of observation. Tell the dog to come. Oh, he's always looking at me. Going, Am I doing this right? Hey. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. I like how you walk with these like, dainty little legs. Come here. Yeah. Sit. Thank Good you. Boy. But if this hurt him every time I pressed it, he'd want to react run away from me, you have a negative association. Right. As long as you're constantly using it the right way, which is attention, affection, direction. If you need to tell the dog where to go, sit. Good. But it's all about just giving the dog the clarity it needs. That way it knows, okay, I got what you want. What happens is when they get like overwhelmed and they're not sure what you want, and then you start demanding them to do stuff because if this is attention, 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 it's pretty much like me telling you to focus, to do work. I need you to do something. If I'm telling you, I need you to do this, right. and you're going, I still don't know what you want from me, you're going to have that moment of shutdown where you're like, I don't know what you want, I quit. Right. And that's when we see a protest from a dog is when it's going, you didn't show me clearly what I'm supposed to be doing, so I'm going to offer up other behaviors. I'm going to spin, I'm going to lay down, I'm going to roll my back, I'm going to do all these things. But if we show the dog with clarity what we want, I want you to now walk to the house and keep the dog here. Because we set the dog up for success and it understands what we want from it right now, I don't even have to repeat the command. The dog's still in that command because we set the dog up for success. Now the dog's just over there being really cute. Tell the dog to come. Good job! Yay! Way to go! Yes, my buddy! And this dog is just a really sweet heart. So, yeah. it's A, understanding that the dog is only being protective of you because it doesn't feel that you will protect it. Right. Any questions from you? Are you happy with yourself, buddy? He's like, oh, I am. Okay, I ain't a good boy. I ain't go whacking with my mom. I'll see you Thursday. Thanks so Have a good much. One. Have a great day. Yep. Take care. Bye-bye. All right, everybody. Today's Friday with Redland and Lucy. This week, we've gone to the beach a few times. We've done a few walking lessons. We've dealt with some inside control, setting up a new routine. We're going to go do a check right now to see if they're going to bark when I ring the doorbell and then we're gonna head to the park. Let's see what happens. Do you guys think Redland's going to bark? You think Lucy's gonna bark? What do you guys think? That's a lot better. Slop. 
better. Hurt a little bit and then stopped. Hey there, Lucy. Good job. All right, let's go to the park. Sounds good. I'll see you guys out there. So they didn't do too bad. Barked for a second. They were able to utilize the leash and the e-collar to get the dog's attention and focus away from me, the distraction, back onto the owner, creating a less reactive dog, allowing them to just observe the experience. So the one thing that I'm gonna say, and everybody does this, everybody calls the button a zapper. We don't use shock collars. We don't use anything uh, in a painful way. And a zapper ultimately is, you know, kind of under the context of something that would cause pain uh, to a dog. And at the end of the day, we want to get the dog's attention and focus before the dog reacts. So we're never punishing the dog for reacting. We're always getting the dog's attention before the reaction. But because humans have been preconditioned to understand anything electronic around a dog's neck as a shock collar, everybody always says buzzer or zapper. It's exhausting. So bring him over to the grass. Didn't react to the people at all. Be honest, they could eat, get eaten by the ducks. <laughs> yeah. Those ducks are big. Yeah. Are and look, yeah, now the ducks get to go. Nice, positive experience. We don't need to run. They're tanning right now. <laughs> We're inconveniencing the ducks by having your dogs get to the end of the leash and try to go and bark and say, I'm tough. Oh, there's little baby ducks. As long as they're observing, they're fine. And that's good for right now. Guess what you're sitting on right now? This is your bubble. If you want to come join them, you can come sit down. You guys are on your bubble. If the dog gets off of this, then you know you got to bring it back. There's no poop. They cleaned it off. So for instance, now bring your dog back. Perfect. There you go. Look at this. They're all lining up. Look, they're coming over. Look, they're all coming over. Most of the time they come because they think you got food. They used to call me Ace Ventura. Hello. Hey. Hey, you hissing? As I'm concerned, they both have pooped and peed. There's no reason they should be pulling you or sniffing the grass. Oh. You got a biker coming if you guys want to go to the right. Good job, there you go. Dogs didn't react, all we have to do is be aware. Good job. As long as you guys are aware, you keep the dog safe, you keep yourself safe, and nothing happens. So just press the button, don't say it more than once. 
Look at those cuties! That's it, just press the button. Only say the command once, though. Yeah. What? Uh, so it's called an e-collar. It's different than a shock collar. No shock. It's made by Garmin. The whole point of an e-collar is it's like a cell phone, so that way you can communicate with the dog. You know what? But I believe, I believe that they have to express their feeling. So I never stop their feeling. <laughs> but that's like saying, I have a panic attack every time I go out into society and talk to people, so you got to let me have that panic attack. Somebody's got to tell you, listen, people are safe. Yeah. You don't need to freak out. Thank you so much. Yeah, you have a great day. In, honey? Epic dog pros. <laughs> you guys go drink that water. Oh, did you get a little wet, Lucy? She was saying she likes to let her dogs experience things and let their feelings be. <laughs> I said, so you literally ride your dogs around in the stroller and just let them bark all day long at everybody and you're just happy that they're experiencing the world? I said, if I had a panic attack every time I came outside and you just let me experience that every time, I wish somebody would tell me, listen, calm down, you don't need to freak out. They don't just let me have a panic attack. I want to have a seizure. Redlin. Redlin's so happy. He's like, I love this. I come out, I lay down, we go for a little walk. Oh, these people might get attacked right now. This could be bad. Guys, this could be bad. This could be really bad. These dogs could freak out. They could freak out. Maybe they'll they'll keep walking by their side. Let's go. So Redlin walked past, no problem. Your dog walked past, no problem. No big deal. They don't care about people. <laughs> But if you let them walk 15 feet ahead of you and they got to see those people before you did, sure, they're gonna run up and bark. When they're walking with you by your side, they're not gonna bark. Great job. How's it going? Good, how are you? Oh, you did it, come on. Get back on place. So what I want you to do is actually put the dog back in a sit and I want you to almost get down on a platform. So every time you get down a platform, you can then invite the dog to come join you, so on and so forth. And the reason why I want you to have that is because a wait command means the dog could choose to go back on place if it wanted, right. could wander back around the house and go lay down, or could lay down right there or sit. It can do whatever it wants, it just can't come past this threshold. Okay. So I want you to create that distance where now you're over here, and then we can invite the dog to come through the threshold. So you can tell it to come and see if you can sit it right there. Okay. Sit. Good. And then now you're gonna walk back, go down a step or two. See how the dog wants to follow, so you can put it back. And what I want you to do is, if you see that the dog's starting to come, so that way we don't have to reset the picture, just put the dog in a sit and stick, stick his butt to the ground. So slowly back up a little bit, less tension on the leash. She was getting tangled. Yeah. Then now tell her to come and sit. Button, button, button. Good. Go down to the bottom steps. Uh -uh. Right, good. And that's why you just want to reinforce the sit. Now tell the dog to come. Good. So what I want you to do is you're going to come back up. We're going to do it again. But what I want you to do is almost like a, a quick relay race where you're just, let me put the dog in a sit. If I can get to the end here, tell the dog to come sit and see how fast you can do it where the dog's understanding the repetition. Good job. Good. And now we have one, two, three, four places where the dog 
knows it should stop moving and almost get approval from you to continue moving forward, which will help the dog understand not to just run off the property. So we're gonna do this like two more times, same thing. And what I want you to do this time is I want you to put the dog in a sit and see how far you can get down. Okay. If you can get all the way down here, then I want you to sit her, tell her to come, sit her, and start doing okay. it remotely. So do it all from here instead of letting me do the break point. Yep, and you almost don't even need the leash. You could drop the leash. So that's right, come, out. come all the way down actually. Now tell the dog to sit. Sit. Button, button, button. Sit. All right, so she passed that threshold. Get her to sit, button, button. Good. So what I want you to do this time is when you tell the dog to sit through the house on that mat in there, yeah. you're going to come all the way down here, invite the dog outside and have it stay on that okay. patio. Then you're going to tell it to come and then sit it here. And that way we're just getting comfortable with remote sitting the dog and stopping its motion. Good. So come all the way down. She was laying down, so I just want to make yeah, sure yeah. she prep. Tell her to come and then sit, maybe a come, second come. after. So second. Come on. Go come. Now sit. 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 Button, button, button. Sit. And it's okay. And that's what her understanding of, all right, well, if I can't come forward, I'm going to go. And it's also the sun. She's going, I'm not doing these drills on this hot sun. <laughs> I knew as I was leaving my last lesson, I'm like, this is going to be a short one today. It's really hot, too. Yeah. Cody, come on, bro. You're okay. Good girl. Sit. Let's do it one more time so that way she at least ends on a good note. You can use the leash to work her through it. So it's important to point out that even though it's 80 degrees in California right now, it's still hot. The tiles are hot, the dog's hot, the sun is beaming down on us right now, and we're a little hot. We start to see that the dog will shut down and offer up other behaviors to avoid sitting in the sun. Come. And sit. sit. So what you want to do, ultimately, is you're going to want to go, come, sit, right. because you're inviting the motion forward. And what happens with dogs is they go, they're like this. Are we going to go? Yeah. Are we going to go? And the second you say come, they're like, I'm going, I'm going. So by the time you say sit, they almost like, you'll say sit, and they're like, well, I'm still coming, Dad. I'll sit when I get to you. So to do a, a come and then a sit, it's very difficult because you're starting motion and stopping motion. Give me a paw. Can you get a paw? Shake. Okay. But she just tried. I saw her like trying to. Look at you. You trying to camouflage. If I think you're asleep, we're gonna be done for the day. I can't see you. You're so funny, Goldie. Oh, Goldie. Are you sleeping already? I know it's Friday. I know. All right. You have a great weekend. Keep practicing yeah. these basic yeah. things. Take it easy. I'll see you on Monday. I'll send you a text. All right.